Welcome to the Wheaton Lab Sawmill. We put in some V-blocks to raise up the log. A few keys when you set up this rig is that you want to move the two ends the same amount. If you go up or down a couple clicks, do it on both sides so that the whole unit stays level side to side. You want to adjust the rails front to back to be in line with the log you're cutting. Ideally, the center of the log is parallel to the rails. In this case, the V-blocks are about two feet from the rails, so they're fairly parallel. We'll get it started. You have to hold the power button for a half a second or so for it to get fully up to speed. When we're cutting forward, you want the blade horizontal. The saw motor is here and the blade is currently horizontal. So when you go forward, you want the blade horizontal. Then when you're going coming back, set it all the way down. So 15, 10, this would be five degrees and this is zero degrees. So when you're coming back, you have it, the blade vertical. You want to make sure you've got some water dribbling on the blade, especially with pine, because the pitch will gum up the blade. And uh, as you can see, our lovely extension cord support system. I set this up to cut off about this much bark off the top of the log. So we're getting a flat section of wood to work with. So that top bit is typically slab wood or scrap wood. Then we'll drop it down either two inches or four inches. So you work to the left, you cut off all the, all the bark that's on the left and then chunk over. Board, 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 board. Then when you get through the log and it's flat, you get the saw out of the way, you lower the two ends, then we'll move over, drop it down and start making real boards. These are the stickers. You want them about two inches from the end and then evenly spaced throughout. So you'd have two on the end and three in the middle. As you build up your stack, keep the stickers all in a line. The weight of all the wood will help hold the lower wood and keep it flat as it dries. Sticker doesn't have to be this thick, but you want some airflow and a little space between the boards like this so that they dry evenly, dry flat, and cure.